Hi everyone, old comic collector, back again with another eBay unboxing. Don't know who it could be today, but it could be this guy. Stay tuned. Right, three books today. A little bit of fun at the end. Stick around and you'll see what that is. Book number one. Bit of Wolverine speculation. We know he's coming at some point. It's a matter of time. Uh, obviously the big boy book is Hulk 181. Wolverine's first appearance. First full appearance, I should say. Cameoed in 180. This is just a, a spec book for Wolverine. Wolverine 88. It's actually his first meeting with Deadpool. First fight with Deadpool. Lovely cover. Beautiful Adam Kubert cover there. Let's take a look. Wow, that really pops, that cover. Really. This is known as one of the great covers. Uh, sort of like uh, ooh, Hulk 340. It's a great Wolverine cover. <laughs> Trying to think of some other Wolverine covers that are great. Senior moment time, bear with. Um, nope, I got nothing. I'll come back to that. Okay, got this down as possible 9 0. Tick, tick, Ooh, two ticks. That doesn't look too bad. This is a Marvel went through a phase of doing deluxe editions of books. This is one of those. It's a little bit thicker because they used uh, really glossy paper in these, as you can see. Back in the glorious 90s, where everything was a gimmick, so we had deluxe editions. But that that really does look nice. Direct edition, you can get uh, new stand editions for this, just sought after. More expensive, go for a higher price. I'm looking at the back. You can see a little dink there. Yeah, that, is, that looks really nice. I have washed my hands touching this black cover. One thing you do not want is fingerprints. Scratch there. It's going to knock it down, but uh, we might squeeze that to a 9 4, I think. What do you guys think? Mine too, at least. Nice. Um, paid £22 for that one. So this is a long-term spec for this one, but a great cover. There's another great Wolverine cover. And this one. But this one doesn't get so much love. I like it. Okay, book one done. Please with that, condition of that one. When I'm looking at the grades of these on eBay, I do, uh, if if the seller gives a grade, I do tend to, well, have a good look at the book, I do tend to knock it down a little bit because you, you can never tell everything from the photos, no matter how good they are. But um, I have to say with the ones I've, I've bought, they've been pretty, pretty much on and you, you can, 
you can give it a good shot with what you can see. Double wrap as well. Book number two. Uh, if you can't afford Holt 181, Ooh. this is a nice option. Wolverine 1, first ongoing series. Character was Patch in this one, but we all know it's Wolverine. It's a nice looking book. Let's see what we have. Got this one down as another 9 0. Let's look at that spine. It's got some. Some ticks there, as you can see, as you're going up where the light is highlighting them as you go along. There's a few there. When you look at the book straight on, you can hardly see them, but some of them are breaking colour. You look at it like that, you'd say, oh, there's not a lot on there, but you can, you can just catch some little ticks. Minor, could be. Might press out a little bit. We'll give it a go. Yeah, we've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine ticks going down that spine. Whether some will come out, we shall see. You can see a better look there. Look. Yeah, we shall see. All the rest, I think the rest of the edges look good. Centre looks good. Don't forget to look in the middle. Of dinks there, you can try and press out. Got a great back cover on this one. The John Byrne goodness. There's a negative space back cover before negative space was a thing. I'm talking of great Wolverine covers and negative space. This is one of my favourites too. I've got a copy of this. But yeah, Wolverine 1, first solo series. Paid £37 for that one. See how the pressing goes, but that's a good, looks like a good CGC candidate. Again, as these, uh, these books are all climbing at the moment. Could be. I think it's definitely a, a movie he'll be in. I don't think they'll waste him on a Disney Plus show. Could be an X-Men movie or maybe a solo movie. But he's coming. Don't miss out on Wolverine. He is coming. Last but not least, painter's tape and cardboard. Two pieces of cardboard. Another two pieces inside. That's what you call double protection. Really good. Um, again, if you can't afford the big boy book, Hulk 181. I think this is the first one you should be looking for. Wolverine 1, first limited series. I am the old comic collector, so I was around when this came out. I've got all four up in a short box. This is an extra copy. Great Frank Miller cover. Great Frank Miller story and art. Great Frank Miller art inside. And with Chris Claremont doing the writing duties. Great four part limited series. If you haven't read it, grab it, read it online, but make sure you read it. One of the earliest uh, Marvel limited series as well. There's quite a few of these around in the 80s. I uh, got this down as a 8.5. Go 
actually looks really nice. Nice. And letting it down, you may have just seen is a crease in the bottom corner there, which is going nowhere. So, CQC give you a nine with that crease on. Maybe on a good day. I'd say it's a great, great 8.5. There's your back. And Mr. Mega Force looking a little bit like Chuck Norris. A little bit of creasing down the bottom. Give that a press. Some kink in there as well. Again, 1982 book. It's looking pretty good. Gotta love that Miller art. I'm a great Frank Miller fan. Loved his run on Daredevil. Uh, off white to white. Often in the 80s, these pages they often look they often look uh, more off white than uh, Silver Age books. But yeah, that's a, that's a good 8.5, I would say, for that one. Uh, paid £65 for this one. But uh, that's really nice. I think with a clean and a press, that'll, uh, that'll come up nice. We could hit that 9.0 for that one, which I'd be more than happy with. OK, three books today. Now, if you've got one of these one of these books from 1982 and you flick open the centre pages you will see an advert for Mile High Comics selling back issues of Marvel and there's some really interesting books and prices in this I've taken some photos I'm going to pop them up after this and you can take a look uh, and if we could all time travel back to 1982, there's quite a few books in there we'd be picking up. Enjoy that. Thanks for sticking around. If you're leaving me now, thanks a lot. More unboxings to come. CGC unboxings, eBay hauls. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. Hit the notification bell. Uh, I drop content once a week. I've been the old comic collector. If you want to see some really great prices for some really big books, stick around. But I'll see you soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.